Welcome back to the show, everyone. Sorry, I forgot that was my job to welcome everyone back. So I'm staring like an idiot into the camera. Welcome to Urban Rush, just another day. It is, and we're gonna talk about a great uh, cookbook, Spilling the Beans is the title, and we are joined by Sue Duncan and Julie Van Rosendahl. How are you both? Hello, ladies. Oh, great. So who wants really to tell nice to us see you a book again. about beans? Oh, it's a book that Julie and I hatched up during the 2010 Olympics. We were at my house, and we were discussing how most people want to cook more beans, they want to cook more lentils, we know that they're good for us. Most people don't know how to how to cook them. Yeah. They're how afraid to, of them. There's, there's a are. level of fear and uh, mixed with a level of ignorance that it, it comes to legumes <laughs> and beans and stuff like this. Julie, uh, how much did you know about this going into the creation of Spilling the Beans? Well, I mean, we had been cooking with beans, both of us, for years. And, and we both knew that they were a big Canadian crop, which a lot of people aren't aware of. We think, you know, they're important One for India. One bean in particular? or Lentils, especially in the prairies, are huge. Huge, really? huge crop. So people say, oh, it's too, you know, it's too hard to eat locally during the winter. Well, they're there are a lot of different beans that are grown, you know, right here in Canada, all across Canada, and uh, and they're inexpensive, they're convenient, whether they're dried mm -hmm. or canned. And so, you know, I had some experience with beans, but Sue and I were talking about how we wanted to eat more of them. And it's so crazy that they're they're used in cuisines around the whole world, yeah. and yet we in North America, you know, give someone a cup of lentils, and they don't know most what to do. of us don't <laughs> have And the funny thing is, most people think yeah. they're typical Ooh, meals these. that they use black beans and make They're terrible. <laughs> 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 People think of those typical things, but they don't think of some of the really cool things that you can substitute exactly, other things absolutely. and make your meals yeah. a little healthier. And we're going to start out with pancakes. Yes. Maybe you can tell us where the beans fit to in. To which everybody well, goes, yes. what? I know. Look at them. Yeah. These are pancakes made with pureed white kidney beans. So beans are super high in fiber, which everyone seems to be wanting to get more of. Mm -hmm. uh, they're high in protein. They have tons of vitamins and minerals. And they have such a benign flavor that they blend right into all sorts of baking. So once we started experimenting with breads, things like pizza dough, things like cinnamon buns mm -hmm. with pureed white kidney beans in the dough, pancakes, banana bread, you actually boost the fiber more than if you used whole wheat flour. That's amazing. But you it still is. get that sort of white bread taste and texture yeah. and you don't taste the beans. I would imagine they would add uh, quite a bit of moisture as well and, and well, you know, they add, recipes, but. They're a little bit starchier than like a, a fruit puree. A lot of people use applesauce in place of some of the oil they're baking mm -hmm. and you could use pureed beans but um, but they add some substance as well. They mm -hmm. add starch and they add sort of okay. bulk to the recipe. Um, a little bit different from a, fr from a fruit puree. Now mm -hmm. so we have to address the issue that I'm sure a lot of people probably oh, ask yes. you guys about when you're talking about a book called Spilling the Beans. Gossiness. And, yes. yes. Music, uh, beans the and the gastrointestinal yeah. system of the human being. Well, True, false? Um, well, it does, it does. Most people are a little bit sensitive. Um, the good news is, is that your body adapts, right? So if you start bringing beans and legumes into your diet, mm -hmm. small amounts slowly. <laughs> Love our kitchen, don't you? Julie has found the limitations <laughs> of our kitchen once again. It's our limitations, not yours. Okay, uh, yes. Continue okay. talking about so, the gas. So People your adopt. body adjusts as you incorporate them into yeah. your diet. So go slow. Um, don't go all beans all the time right away. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> so, um, and you know, you can also do a few things. Like when you when you pour off the sludge in a can of beans and rinse it off. Yeah. Um, some of what's going to cause the gas is in that sl oh, sludge. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Or mm -hmm. cooking water. If you're cooking your own beans from dried, um, if you discard the, the soaking water and discard the cooking water than some of the sugars that cause that. You You're go. gonna get Okay, let's catch up on what you've yeah. done uh, yes. with the batter there. So this is just a basic pancake batter, some flour, baking powder, salt, um, and pureed kidney beans in with the milk and the eggs. So when we when we puree kidney beans for baking, we use white ones for aesthetic reasons. Yes. <laughs> if you use red ones or if you use like black You're gonna beans. You're going have red pancakes. The jig yeah. is up. Yeah, people are gonna know. And. Uh, and so you puree them with a little bit of the liquid in the recipe. So in this case, I just put you know the egg in the food processor mm -hmm. with the beans, and that just helps helps them along, helps them get nice and smooth. And canned beans are a little bit softer than than beans that you soak and you cook, right. which are a little bit more have a bit more tooth to them. So we like mm -hmm. using canned beans, and uh, and you puree them and just put them right well, in. Well, and that fascinating idea better. because people are trying to uh, at least limit their their simple carbohydrate intake and all that stuff, exactly. and maximize their protein. And yeah. what a perfect way to do this yeah. at, at breakfast, Especially which would normally breakfast. be. Yeah. complete carbohydrate. Right? Yeah. Well, and another thing that we do at breakfast, sorry, is <laughs> the, those red lentils that you see there, those are split. A lot of people don't realize that you don't have to soak a dry lentil. You can just toss them into a pot of water and cook them or toss them into a soup. And so red like lentils, rice, you can yeah, they just go like fast. rice. Yeah. So the, the green brown ones take about 40 minutes. The red ones are split in half, so they take about 
Not 10, 15, 15 minutes. 15. And they taste like oatmeal. So you can put them in yeah. oatmeal cookies, oatmeal muffins, Marvelous. oatmeal scones. And, and what else uh, have we done yeah. here? Uh, maybe you can tell us about some oh, of the yeah. other little goodies because I'm seeing brownies and I don't oh, usually yeah. think beans. beans and brownies. <laughs> well, we're not the first people to do uh, black beans in a brownie. Yeah. But I have to say that we've done them very well. <laughs> We ain't the oh, first, but we're the best. Michael, yeah. you be the judge. <laughs> yeah, I will. Um, and basically, you still have to make sure that you're using good chocolate in your brownies. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're not low fat. Mm. Um, you got to, normal brownie rules apply, you know. Yeah. You got to live a little when you're eating brownies. Exactly that's right. a, It's an indulgence. Yes, mm. but you know, you still make uh, a pan of brownies that has a cup of black beans in it. How's the texture, Mikey? Delicious. Yeah, yes. it's perfect. It's a brownie. It's a brownie. I mean, that's right? the greatest thing. You you're not really... going to eat a brownie when it's dodgy. There's no, just and no point. What else have we got here? These are spiced roasted chickpeas. I'm going to do these here. Okay. Um, they're getting very big on restaurant menus right they now. They are. Yeah. And they're so easy to do at home. Um, all you take is a, is a can of chickpeas. Mm -hmm. We just rinsed and rinsed them really well. Got a little bit of oil and some spices. You can you really use kind of anything. You can be really creative with that. So you can go extra spicy yeah. if that's your thing. That's mm. right. We've just got some cumin and paprika, some black pepper and salt. Yeah. And you just mix this around like so. You spread it on a cookie sheet. So just like it. toasting almonds or what have you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You bake it for a while and toward um, after they've been in the oven for a little while you just Toss in some walnuts. You don't want to put them in too early because mm -hmm. the yeah. walnuts will mm -hmm. um, yeah. toast up. Yeah, they'll. Uh, and how's our little pancake yeah, doing over there? You added some blueberries. It's doing well. I put some blueberries. I like putting the blueberries on top rather than stirring them in because they don't get you know yeah. the bad. Yeah, yeah. Like kids too. They want to see the berries. Right? Totally. That's right. Make, Make them happy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I just want to wait until a few bubbles start to poke through. Oh, one just poked through. You don't want to wait until the whole surface is covered with bubbles because you want mm. the pancake to still have some lift once you flip it to the other right. side. Nice. So once they start to poke through and once it's structurally capable of being flipped. I'll give it a flip. And and yeah, it's just like and another pan. Can, 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 can we talk with? about uh, dried um, beans as well? And because people, if they're intimidated by using beans, they're really intimidated by having dry beans in the pantry because yeah. people don't know what to do with them. But how easy is this with dried beans, right? So what? easy. All you have to do to make a dried bean is cover it with water, Walk away for eight hours. Just walk yeah. away. Just walk, just walk away. away. Walk away. Well, beans. that is complicated, <laughs> yeah. is it? I mean, come on. I got to cover it in water the whole time? Well, um, you're getting it rehydrated, right? right? So yeah. soaking it yeah. and then cooking it. Gives People it get start. intimidated by it, but it's easy to do in a large batch, and you can freeze it. If you want to do it on a regular basis, you can make a big batch, freeze the beans in their cooking liquid, and that will protect them from freezer Perfect. burn. Perfect. Well, ladies, thank you so much. We're going to keep cooking our pancakes, and we want to tell you that there's some amazing recipes you would never think were bean recipes and spilling the beans if you want to up your beans in your diet uh, you can certainly pick it up and up uh, your protein in a really approachable way too without using a really heavy meat-based diet or Absolutely. some of the other options you guys thank you thank very you much. we're thank gonna take you. a break and when we return uh, we'll be back with more right after this don't go away